Thank you for watching or listening, tuning in to our next episode of the Pure Lycian Podcast. Now, today's Lycian Podcast, we're going to talk about Spider-Man Far From Home. I'm going to do my best to not put any spoilers in here. My absolute best. This movie just came out last week. Let's go ahead and start with this. So I just made my own I made my own plot. I know that there is a plot in the movie, but I'm kind of trying to make this as not spoiler, you know? Spoiler free is what I'm trying to go for here. So I'm trying to go for. So what I have so far, I've got Peter Parker, just a high schooler who wants to wants a break from being a superhero, but certain events has forced him to be the hero he was chosen to be. Now the way open we're, we're going to break this into parts. We're going to break it into characters. We're going to talk about the visual, and we're also going to talk about the sound. Again, without spoilers as much as I, we need to, to do. Of course, if you have not seen Endgame, there will be some spoilers from Endgame. All right? Just want to get that out there. Want to let you guys know. Spoiler alert, okay? So now that we've got that, I'm taking my time, just making sure those guys are getting out if they need to like get out or anything like that. So, characters. Peter Parker. So first off, we do know that Iron Man is gone. Iron Man is dead. So now the question is, is since Iron Man is dead, and we're talking about the whole MCU universe, who is going to be the person to kind of take over what Iron Man has started, you know? And Spider-Man as his... It's... It's it's sad, you know? It's like... It's like you're like your godfather someone you know kind of just passing away and is like what do you what do you do and now as you guys do know spider-man is given tony starks <laughs> i'm sorry i'm reading chat so i'm saying if you haven't seen any game you can throw yourself in a trash can my goodness yo <laughs> so tony stark kind of gives his nice glasses to peter parker as a will and testament obviously but um, I want to talk about Peter Parker first. So Peter Parker, as we all know, he's a high schooler. And because of the thing that they called the, um, I think they call, I forgot what they called it. The blip, I think is what they called it with the whole snap and everyone disappearing. And they called it the blip, right? And so that being said, people in high school, they had to start over. Basically is what they have to do. They have to start over. People are a lot grown. So they're probably like, I don't even know how they're going to do that. I don't want to get into a topic of how that's going to happen. But that's just basically what's happening. Really. Um, people were held back in a sense. But not really. Even though they may have passed the class. It kind of sucks for them really. But Peter Parker. He was in the blip. He hasn't aged a bit. He's exactly where he was when he was in. Probably was like freshman, sophomore year. I don't really know how and what grade he was in at the point in time. But yeah, Peter Parker comes out and he's still, you know, the whole funny, silly guy. You know, he's still quite not there. Um, and when it, when, it, when it comes to characteristics of a, a hero, really. Um, but we see him in this movie and he he has improved a lot. I can say that he's improved a lot. He knows what's at stake and he definitely takes it a lot more seriously, especially towards the end, because in the beginning he didn't really want to do that you know he wanted to be on break you know heck he was as you guys see in the trailers that he freaking ghosted <laughs> nick fury and you're not supposed to ghost nick fury but he ghosted nick fury anyway you know he's not taking it serious at that point you know he's like yeah okay no i'm not want to go on spring break or summer vacation i want to go here and i don't want to do spider-man or anything like that so he decides to not bring his suit well is is his may aunt may because she finds out in the end of Spider-Man Homecoming that he is Spider-Man. And so he goes ahead and doesn't want to bring the suit. But the mom secretly packs a suit. Go mom. Good for you. Or aunt. Sorry. Aunt May. Not mom. I'm sorry. Um, last Spider-Man movie was Homecoming. So freshman. Don't know. I'm sure it was freshman. Um, but we don't know the huge like the huge gap between then and then also um, Avengers Infinity War or uh, yeah Infinity War when there was a snap so we don't know exactly what grade he was in I guess it is safe to assume maybe sophomore year because he finished his freshman year we know that at least he finished his freshman year because he went through prom and prom usually happens towards the end but yeah Aunt May is hot okay <laughs> I think we all know that man okay so again back to Spider-Man Peter Parker I love his suits. I've always loved his suits. Suits are amazing. You definitely see character development here. Like, I'm talking like from a kid to a teenager. Like, you see it happening. Even though it happened in Homecoming, 
there obviously still needed to be more development because he didn't want to go and be a superhero. He wanted to go on his summer vacation, which is understandable. You know, he's a teenager. He's got things to do. And also towards the end of Homecoming, we know, we understand that he has this thing for MJ, right? So now going into MJ, we know that MJ has a thing for Peter Parker. I mean, we see that towards the end of the movie. Um, You know, oh, my, my name is actually MJ. And I'm talking Homecoming. So I'm kind of going back and forth between Homecoming and Far From Home, right? And so, oh, you know what? I didn't get a timer for this. Okay, oh, well, that's okay. Um, So, uh, yeah, MJ has a thing for Peter Parker, and Peter Parker has a thing for MJ, right? And MJ, we find, we see, we find out a lot more interesting things about MJ here. She's into some kind of medieval torture-y stuff, because along the trips and all that stuff, she, um, she told us some really interesting stuff. <laughs> obviously um i'm not i don't know i'm not gonna say this i'm not gonna say it i'm just gonna go ahead and skip that and so mj again you know we see her character also uh kind of interact more in the end of the movie i'm trying not to give spoilers away i don't know if they gave it away in the trailers as to what happens but yeah she she has developed a lot as a character now i want to talk about mysterio Mysterio was such a good character. Jake Gyllenhaal did an amazing job, as always. The last time I saw Jake Gyllenhaal in a movie was October Sky, and that was back in high school when I was taking aerospace as a class. It's been a while. It's been a while. I'm a big fan of the eyes in the MCU suit. Yeah, I do like the eyes. Definitely how they move around and stuff. It's pretty cool, you know? I like that. That's It's a nice added, added on thing that they do, really. So Mysterio, he definitely is a mysterious guy. I mean, we find out that he is he is from a different dimension. And um, he fought these elementals back in his dimension as well. And he is either the hero or he's also the villain. Again, we're not gonna go into details, but Mysterio is from another or er, er, another earth, because there's a multi-dimension, a multiverse, in a sense. And so Ned, Ned is the same. Uh, picks up a girlfriend, nothing too big, nothing too serious, nothing spoilerish. Um, there. Now, the visuals of this movie is amazing. One scene when we see towards the end, and again, I'm trying my best to not spoil this movie because there's a ton of things that happens visually in this movie, and it's stunning. It is amazing the way that they do it. If you, I would say that this, I don't. I would say this is probably one of the probably one of the top five things that I've witnessed when it comes to visuals, the CGI and all of that in this movie because it's really cool how they do things and how they how they mix it, make it all look realistic and all of that. It's really good. They do a really really good job with it. Um, next up is sound. Now there is this one song that came. I I literally almost cried. It was like it was like happy tears. And the guys that have seen this movie know exactly what I'm talking about. Again, I'm not going to go into this point. I'm not going to go into that uh, that section of the movie. But it was beautiful. It was amazing. And it was like, oh my goodness, man, he's growing up, man. He's growing up. Because he does grow up. We see it, too. And the things that he does and the way that he interacts with these thingy majiggers. Again, I just can't get into spoilers. Next time I'm going to do spoilers. Next time I'm going to do spoilers. But, yeah. Looked really good. The sound was amazing as always. MCU always does an amazing, amazing job with making music, sounds, all kinds of stuff. The, the spider webs and all that stuff, it shoots out. It was good. It was amazing. I would say you should go see this movie. If you have not seen this movie, it's definitely really good for summer. You know, it's that summer, summer blockbuster movie. You should go see it. If you have not seen it, you got to go see it. Me and my wife went to go see this movie. We thoroughly enjoyed it. I would give this movie an easily about like a nine and a half out of 10. Really close to a 10, but not quite there. That's just my opinion of the movie. There were some downsides to it. Just a little bit, but not a whole lot, but I enjoyed it. You should go see it. And once again, I do thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Pure Lyceum Podcast. I do try my best to make these as short as possible because I don't want to make them that long when people are kind of bored to death. Again, thank you for watching. You guys can always find me live here at twitch.tv forward slash Pure Lyceum from 3 p.m. Eastern to 6 p.m. Eastern from Tuesdays to Fridays. Mondays, I don't do any of that stuff. You guys can also watch me and or listen to me. Sorry. 
on Google, Google Play, Spotify. Uh, I don't think it's on Apple yet, but those are the top two things usually that we can go on. Uh, you can always find me at uh, Anchor as well. There's also Google Play. You can find me on a lot of places. Just type in the Pure Lysian podcast and it should pop up. Thank you guys so much for watching this. If you guys are watching this on YouTube, make sure you guys do leave a comment and or like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later on the next Pure Lysian podcast. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.